When you're buying a diamond for someone, it's important to know exactly where it came from and be sure that you're getting what you paid for. Well, diamond expert and graduate of the Gemological Institute of America, Grant Mobley, is here to discuss. Grant, good morning to you. Good morning, thanks so much for having me, Alex. So when you're buying a diamond, what is the single most important question that you should ask? Well, you know, these days the consumer has more choices than ever. And I think, especially when it comes to diamonds, and you know, some retailers are now carrying what we call lab-grown diamonds. And because of lab-grown diamonds, I think it's important that consumers ask that question. Is this natural or is this lab-grown diamond? The last thing that we would want to happen is a consumer to buy a diamond thinking that it was natural, but it was actually lab-grown. You definitely don't want to make that mistake. So a lot of people may not really understand the difference between a lab-grown one and a real, you know, naturally made diamond. They, they may have been told yes. that they are essentially the same thing, but is that the truth? Well, so what a, what a lab-grown diamond really is, is it's, it's just a manufactured product. It's manufactured to look like and act like a natural diamond. But it's important to remember that they are two very, very different products. Because it's a manufactured product, a lab-grown diamond has distinct uh, differences in the growth structure and the impurities inside the stone that make them detectable 100% of the time with the right equipment. So they might, might look similar to the naked eye, to a, to a normal consumer, but they are completely detectable. And how about value? Does it affect the value that it wasn't a naturally made stone? Absolutely, I think that's the biggest difference. You know, a natural diamond, because it is a finite product, um, and it's actually, and a lot of people don't realize, it's the oldest thing you, can, you could ever own. Okay, and how about eco-friendly? They say that uh, lab-grown diamonds are eco-friendly. Is that the truth? That's a very common misconception. I'm glad you brought that up. You know, lab-grown diamonds are absolutely not an eco-friendly alternative to natural diamonds. Um, you know, basically when you're making a lab-grown diamond, what you're doing is you're condensing a process that took the earth hundreds of millions of years to do, and you're condensing that into a period of only two weeks. So that creates a huge amount of electricity, and you know, that electricity, of course, you're burning fossil fuels, so the carbon footprint is huge. In fact, you know, recent studies show that the carbon footprint for a one carat uh, lab-grown diamond is three times higher than that of a natural diamond. So we definitely don't want people to go in buying a lab-grown for that reason, because that's gonna be, they're gonna be sorely mistaken later on. Well, I think a, a lot of incredibly uh, enlightening tips that people may never have known. So Grant, thanks so much. Well, thanks so much for having me, Alex. We'll be right back.